So yesterday, some news dropped on Conor McGregor. I didn't believe it at first. UFC 303 was the rumour that it's being announced and he was fighting on June 29th. So I thought I'd look into it. It was circulating around all the streams yesterday. And I found the source and the source was MMA Uncensored. And they dropped this Here's yesterday. The fighters, the fans on the game. Here's to the blood, sweat, and tears on the fame. And here's the as in key, you're ready to go on the brutally honest MMA show. McGregor vs. Chandler poster on Saturday, June 29th. Uh, they actually wrote uh, Breaking the notorious MMA announces is returning to UFC this summer versus Michael Chandler at UFC 303. So I was trying to find the source of this information that they were posting about. I think a few other sources have posted as well, but then they've, I think a few of them have retracted what they've said now. Uh, one guy put, I heard it was going to be UFC 500, mark your calendars, a little piss take. Uh, so let's take a look. I found the source of what MMA Uncensored are talking about. MMA Uncensored are absolutely clip-baiting wankers full of shit. Uh, but we will take a look, and I see where they've got it from, but what they've done to is a stretch. What they've done is a stretch. Um, so let's take a look at that video on here. So uh, McGregor was doing some interviews for Roadhouse. Uh, we'll play the full video, and we'll go from there, and we'll break it down as we go along. He's a gamer, a consummate professional. Thank you very much. Thank um, so this this woman to the side, she's some kind of like his, his promote publicist or whatever they have. Uh, she keeps moving him along to do all the other interviews. It's quite interesting. I, I'm, I'm making a point of letting you know who she is because it's interesting what happens in this uh, little uh, conversation next. Because Oscar's, uh, Oscar's going to be uh, talking from the Matt Life, interviewing McGregor. Um, He's, he's already done a few interviews with McGregor this week, so I'm not quite sure why he was there, but I think this was planned. I think this whole thing between these two and this announcement was kind of staged. I think they're trying to push the UFC's hand a little bit. We'll play it now. Thank you. Yeah. All right. You know this guy. Yeah. We're going short. Oscar. Yeah. You, you promised me. You got up. So she, she did start, start to begin with. She said, we're going short. We don't want anything long. Uh, you, you know this guy, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so let's just keep it short and move on to, you know, the film talkers, the, the people that are there to talk about Roadhouse, uh, not the Matt life. First of all, I've seen the reviews about your performance and I've seen the performance. One thing underrated, your physicality is amazing in this oh, movie. You, I'm thank sure you got sir. direction, but did they have to direct you on that or was that nah, natural? Nah, and they say, I just hard work, brother, hard work. I, 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 I was just, I was lifting heavy, lifting heavy. So they just started off with normal film talk. He, he's buttering him up a little bit. He waits. And uh, that was what the role called for. And there you go. I was in damn good shape for sure. And I needed to be. I tell you, I needed to be in every bit of shape I was in because it was a demand and it was an ask. You know? what, what did you make of Nate Diaz giving you a St. Patrick's Day shout? Love it. Love Nate. Happy Paddy Day to the Diaz bros. And the Diaz. So he brings this on to Nate Diaz. And then in a minute, the, the woman starts, starts to try and move Connor along. Now, it's interesting that this this is what happens next. Connor tells her, shuts her down completely. And he, it's almost like he knows there's something else coming from Oscar. Like there was something, there was a question that was predetermined that they'd already arranged that he was going to ask. And this is that question. Yes, clan. Let's see, it's a man I shared I heard, minutes in the sorry, we're being stopped. I heard he's that. Alright, sorry, come on. I, just, I heard that you've got to return locked in. We're ready to go. Let's go, baby. Summer, the max back. Tatiana. So there we go. So uh, she was trying to stop him moving along. He was like, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Um, it's almost like Connor knew there was something else coming. Oscar had that question locked and loaded. And we'll play it again. I heard that, he's all right, he's all right, come on. I, just, I heard that you've got a return locked in. We're ready to go. I heard that you've got a return locked in. It was only a few, a few days ago he was talking to TalkSport and all the other... Uh, media outlet saying that he had nothing booked he'd not spoken to the ufc and then um he does a 360 and says he's got a, a fight a, a fight boot for the summer so i kind of get where mma uncensored are coming from it's only going to be one of two cars ufc 303 or 304 um so let's go baby summer the max back and then he runs off he runs off he answers it the mac is back and then he runs off so what what do you guys think about that I think it was staged personally. I think he's trying to push the UFC's hand into booking a date. 
I think he's asking maybe for a different contract, more money. And that's kind of stalled the negotiations a little bit and getting the fight booked. It seems strange that Dana White isn't booking this fight. Conor McGregor is one of the biggest, if not the biggest draw in the UFC right now, even with all the losses. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.